Hello, David here with the brand new 2021 Giant TCR Advanced Pro One Disc. Now, hopefully you saw my very detailed first look on this bike in my previous video. And if you missed that, there's a card floating up there now. You go and check that out for all the juicy details on this bike and everything you need to know about it. As you can see, I've fit some pedals, got my computer on, and in this video, we're going for a first ride to see how it performs and handles. So come with me and let's see what it's all about. Well, what a bike, what a bike indeed. So it's clear straight away from riding this bike, uh, just on a short loop here in the Cotswolds, that it's a really refined and really smooth bike. Uh, that's because it's a ninth generation bike, first introduced back in the mid 90s. So you can really tell this bike has been evolved and matured and finessed over those years with each um, update in its uh, range. So yeah, really capable bike. I say it's refined, what I mean is it's really smooth and the power transfer is just fantastic. You can feel the stiffness from the bottom bracket and the front end with the new fork um, when you're throwing it around through the corners. The front end, the steering feels very precise, very responsive. There's not too much stiffness from the fork in terms of dealing with vibrations, impacts coming through the handlebars. So it's, it's very nice and uh, balanced and controlled. And when you get on the power, putting the watts down, which you can tell with the new power meter, on this bike, you can really feel the bike just surging forward. There's no uh, loss energy at all. It's very efficient. I think Giant, um, Giant have always made good bikes. The TCR has always been a good bike. That much is true from my personal experience and from the experience of a lot of you guys who have been down in the comment section telling me how good the TCR is. And a lot of owners coming out and sharing their experience with riding TCR. And it's clear, it's just a bike that just does everything you want in a road race bike, um, whether you're racing or not. Uh, it's got the great handling, got good comfort, um, got a good stiffness, it's light enough. Seven and a half kilos in this mid-range bike is plenty light enough uh, for me personally. So yeah, it's just a really good, very capable, very refined race bike. So yeah, let's keep riding. It's a lovely, lovely day here today, so I'm going to make the most of the weather and uh, go for a bit of a spin. Oh boy, the TCR climbs pretty damn well too. You can really feel the stiffness when you're putting the power down through the cranks. And I know that sounds a little bit cheesy, but you can, you can really feel it surging ahead. And when you get out of the saddle and give it the old Marco Pantani, it really responds as well. Very direct steering from the front end with a stiff handlebar stem and the overdrive to head tube. So it's very direct, a great climb bike. Thankfully, I've got plenty of gearing, wide range 1130 cassette on this bike, of course, and a 5236. I was in the lowest gear the whole way up there, just trying to keep it at a steady tempo and not uh, sweat too much and get my breath too high. Something that really impressed me straight away on just a couple of rides so far is the comfort of this bike. Now comfort is not something that Giant spoke about in their presentation for this new bike, but despite just having 25mm wide tyres, running about 75 psi because they're tubeless of course, the smoothness of this bike, the way it handles some of my rough roads here, it's just incredible. I'm absolutely blown away with how smooth and how refined this bike is. I'd even go as far as say, and I might be getting carried away here, so forgive me, it's nearly as smooth 
if not as smooth as my Candale Synapse endurance bike with wider 28 millimeter wide uh, tuber tires. So a race bike that's as smooth as an endurance bike, despite having narrow tires, is quite something and shows how good the TCR platform is. And that despite not having the on-trend that dropped rear stays that most manufacturers are moving to in the pursuit of both more aero um, and more comfort as well. So quite um, impressive technology packed into the frame. And although Giant haven't really spoken about comfort, looking at comments on my first look, it's clear a lot of people who own TCR bikes do talk about how comfortable these bikes are and how smooth they are on rough roads. Um, probably not as smooth really as an endurance bike like that Synapse or the company's own Defy if you really split hairs but no it's not far off I'm really absolutely blown away how smooth it is and I think this is the most exciting thing about race bikes and something that's not talked about as much is how in the old days a race bike would be great on a race circuit and if you're racing where comfort is not a priority but on just general rides, they beat you up. So endurance bikes with wide tires would be preferable. But if you want that sporty ride from a race bike and you don't want that more relaxed geometry from an endurance bike, then a bike like the TCR with the comfort it offers and the ability to go to wide tire and the racier geometry could be the bike for you. So yeah, I'm, like I say, I'm absolutely blown away. I'm staggered how good it is, it really is. Uh, yeah, top work giant. Yeah, anyway, enough waffling and continue riding and uh, find some more splendid roads to share with you on my first ride of this new giant TCR. But is it fast? Oh yes, 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 it definitely is a really fast bike for a couple of reasons. Got the stiffness, which you really feel when you put the power through the pedals. Uh, really immediate in how it responds to your power input. So no sense of uh, flex or lag at all when you're getting on the power and giving it the beans, whether up a steep climb and you're out of saddle, or you're sprinting for a town sign, or you're just trying to close the gap to an imaginary friend because you're riding on your own because it's locked down. So yeah, very responsive. It's also aero as well. We've got a brand new down tube. We've got deep section wheels on this bike. It's not as fast as an aero bike like the company's own Propel or the Trek Madone or Special Avenge, probably. Well, no, probably about it. It's not as fast because it's not an aero optimized bike, but it doesn't feel slow. At mid 30s, um, it feels really quick. It doesn't feel like there's any lag at all. And it's also got deep section wheels, which are very um, impressive indeed. Very stable in some of the windier conditions I've had the last couple of weeks. So um, very stable uh, in the crosswinds, very stable through corners, feel very immediate when you put the power down and very snappy and responsive. And um, just a very direct feeling bike. You feel like your bike feels snappy and alert. This bike definitely is that. It's, um, it feels great on the climbs, great through the corners, just great handling uh, through a range of situations really. So yeah, the Giant has done a very good job on the new TCR and my first impressions are very favorable indeed. Um, long term testing might find a few faults, um, it'll wrinkles with the bike, but so far, yeah, definitely a thumbs up. Look at that view, pretty stunning, isn't it? I do feel lucky to live in the Cotswolds sometimes. Uh, lovely rolling country roads, um, not massive hills, quite steep in places, but never too long. Enough to kind of get you out of breath and get your heart rate going. But just a good choice of quiet, remote roads. Road surfaces aren't great, but the TCR seems to be doing a really good job of smoothing out some of the rougher surfaces I have to contend with here. So that is my first ride impression of the brand new Giant TCR Advance Pro 1 disc. I'll put a link in the description down below, it may be floating around here somewhere, to my previous first look where you can get all the juicy tech details on this bike. This is just a first ride impression during lockdown to give you a flavour of what the bike is like to ride. I will of course follow up with a more in-depth review once I've logged a lot more miles on the bike and really got to know it and really test it thoroughly. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that coming up hopefully uh, fairly soon depending on how this lockdown situation goes. But that's all for now. Got any questions? Put them in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Uh, hit that thumbs up, like button if you did, and make sure you subscribe well. Uh, but that's all for now. Keep safe, keep pedaling, and I'll see you all again soon.